Original British radio drama, written by Hannah O'Connor, Letters in Blood. Seventy years after the First World War, I never knew my father. He died when I was a baby in 1916. I only have photos of what he looked like, but my mother never told me how he died. At the time, I did not understand the meaning of war and conflict. When my mother died, this letter was given to me from her will. Dear mother, it is night time here in the trenches. It is cold and damp. It had been raining the night before I am writing this. What do we do, Oliver? What if we die? All of our friends have. They went over the trench and they haven't come back. We could be shot, we could be blown to pieces. I don't think I can do this. We- James. <laughs> We'll be fine, I promise. It's getting late and you need to sleep. We might be going over the trench tomorrow, but we're going to stick together. You do trust me, don't you? Yes, I trust you. Good. Now sleep. Dear Mother, it's night time here in the trenches. It's cold and damp. It was raining last night. I can still smell the wet earth. It's sticky from the downpour, which isn't a good sight for tomorrow. James and I are to go over the trench at first light of dawn. and. Though I can put a brave face on for him, I'm afraid. Every day you have the fear of death from either the enemy getting over your trench. And even if we get to the other trench, they might take us. James is frightened too, but don't worry, I'll look after him for as long as I can. That's a promise. If I don't make it, I want James to make it. When he comes home, look after him like I did as a brother. Make sure he gets a good life. I don't know why I'm here anymore. I don't know what to do if something goes wrong out there. I haven't been able to sleep for the past few nights, and even if I do, I see the death around me. I hear gunshots every day, and cannons, sometimes even the screams of others as they're shot down, or worse. If I don't make it, let Cecilia know that I love her, and even if I am gone, I'll still continue loving her, and I hope she does the same. I also want Rose to know what has happened to me. I want her to know that if I die, it's because I was fighting for the country she used to live in. And as for you, dear mother, this might be my last letter to you, so... If it is, thank you for everything in my short lifetime, and know that- Oliver, come on, we need to go. Ready? Don't worry, I won't leave you. Ready. Are you alright, James? Watch it! Thanks. We need to carry on. James, you need to slow down. You're going to... I told you I'd get shot. I have to get you to safety. I need to, you, know, you need to stay with me, James. Keep your eyes on the sky. Don't you dare close me. I'm going to die, aren't I? No, James, you are. I promise you. Oliver, look out! Oliver died in no man's land, whereas my uncle James had been returned back to England after being shot in the leg. He had suffered with shell shock and had ended up dying at the age of 30. Because I never knew my father, I feel as if I was missing a section in my life that I will never get back. Directed by Hannah O'Connor, produced by Hannah O'Connor, edited by Hannah O'Connor. Oliver Hobbs, played by Zachary Mitchell. James Hobbs, played by Harry Cowley. Rose Hobbs, played by Jackie O'Connor.